Hello, this is Dr. Mohit Shetty, medical gastroenterologist and hepatologist at the Department of Gastroenterology, Manipal Hospital, Bengaluru. Today, on account of World Liver Day, I'd like to speak a few words about the liver disease that we commonly encounter in our clinical practice here in this hospital. As you know, uh, liver disease uh, is uh, gra gradually increasing and one of the reasons for that is our lifestyle measures and our uh, eating habits. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is emerging as the main cause of cirrhosis of liver, which means scarring of the liver in our community. This is uh, in India as well as worldwide. Non-alcoholic fatty li liver disease, as the name suggests, is in people who don't drink alcohol, who, are, who may be obese, as well as have metabolic syndromes like diabetes, high cholesterol, hypertension, etc. It can happen in people who are lean as well. The fat in the liver predisposes to inflammation followed by ongoing damage, which takes years and years to develop into scarring and leads to cirrhosis and portal hypertension and its consequences. So therefore, the management should begin before the metabolic syndrome starts off. Constant monitoring, regular health checkups, eating good diet, eating healthy diet, eating right is something that we should all follow. The next uh, important uh, aspect is that of exercise in uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Even though there is no weight loss, there is still uh, improvement in the liver health by exercising. So I cannot stress enough to, uh, to people about lifestyle measures including diet and exercise in the management of fatty liver or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So this being the most important and emerging uh, incidence in our country, this is of paramount importance. The other causes of liver disease, as we all know, are the hepatitis, the hepatitis B and the C, which have got some treatment uh, now, and uh, people are generally aware of this treatment, but it needs a blood test to confirm whether somebody is positive for it or not. The hepatitis C has good treatment now, um, and, uh, and new treatments are in the pipeline. The hepatitis B, on the other hand, has medicines just to control the virus to prevent ongoing liver damage and the new treatment to eradicate hepatitis B is still under the phase of development. And the next cause of the liver disease being very common is the alcoholic liver disease which by awareness has now reduced in proportion however is still a dominant cause of liver disease. The amount of alcohol, the duration of drinking as well as uh, the frequency of drinking determines the alcohol liver damage and therefore um, drinking in moderation or, or not drinking at all is something we would advise once the liver disease starts complete cessation of alcohol is something which should be carried out and we help patients with this including behavioral therapy modifications there are other rare causes and uh, causes which are due to uh, genetic reasons also which cause liver disease which are fairly less common and can be managed accordingly. So on account of World Health Day, I would like to stress on lifestyle modifications for a better and healthy liver. Please remember a healthy liver is a healthy body. Thank you.